One of EW's newest features for adaptive systems is spatial equalization. This technology allows sound system engineers to, for the first time, actually equalize the room instead of the sound system. This is a brief tutorial of how spatial EQ is used in resolution. First, simply design the venue and add an adaptive array as you normally would. Allow the acoustic model to complete calculating. In this example, we will use an ANA array in a typical proscenium theater. Once the model is calculated, you can observe how different parts of the array have been allocated to the venue by clicking on the array and seeing where the aiming lines intersect the audience areas. We can also look at this in section view. Almost always, the initial result with adaptive systems is an exceptionally flat, consistent frequency response across the entire venue. However, there may be times when the acoustics of the room or particular aspects of the system design will require the user to make adjustments to one area of the audience relative to the other. That's where spatial EQ comes in. To use it, the user first locates the spatial EQ item at the column level in their array. Select the column that includes the seating area you wish to address. Now select a zone. Four zones are available per column. They can all be at different audience areas to provide a single band of EQ at four different locations, or they can all be set to the same area to provide four bands of EQ in a single location. We'll select zone one. Next, we define the start and stop of that zone just as we would for coverage. So let's say that we want to affect only the balcony in this case. We would choose a start and a stop value that includes the balcony, say 50 feet to 90 feet. However, there are two audience areas that include those X values. So we can select the override Z feature to limit the Z values that are included in the zone. If we set this to say 15 to 35 feet, we can see from the solid red lines that our target zone is correctly indicated. We can see from the target lines that we have selected only the balcony as our target spatial EQ zone. Now we just choose our filter as we normally would. Let's say that we want to reduce 8000 Hz by 3 dB. One thing to notice are the dotted lines emanating from the array. These indicate the area that resolution expects will actually be affected by the change. As in any sound system, the ability to isolate specific audience areas from others is based on the array length, allocation of cells, and the frequency selected. And as you might expect, as we go down in frequency, the affected area becomes larger. We can see this by simply changing the frequency. from 8,000 Hertz to say 5,000 Hertz, they get slightly larger to 2,000 Hertz, larger still. And if we return to 8,000 Hertz, the affected area gets smaller. As soon as we enter the filter gain, the change is live, and that's all there is to it. While spatial EQ involves major technical complexity under the hood to be possible, the user experience is incredibly simple, allowing the user to, for the first time, actually EQ the room. Thanks for watching.